Hello friends, this video on neat evolution is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us talk about the evolution of horses. The presence of fossils have traced out complete evolutionary history of horses. So if you look at the look at how horses actually evolved, you see that if you start from the very beginning, the first type of horses which were seen were the Eohippus, then came Mesohippus, thereafter was Merichippus, then Thliohippus, and then finally Equus. So these were the various stages in the evolutionary history of horse. So let us start with Eohippus. So Eohippus was the horse was very small in size. It was almost of the size of a fox. As you see here, this represents Eohippus. It was very small in size. It, has a, it had a short head and a short neck. So size of a fox, short head and neck, four feet with four complete fingers and hind feet with three functional toes. Now it has been seen that in, if you look at the evolutionary history of horses, you would see that the feet, both the four feet and the hind feet of the horses underwent through many changes during its evolutionary history. Like the Eohippus, they had four feet with four complete fingers and hind feet with three functional toes. Eohippus was also called as the down horse. Then came Mesohippus. So Mesohippus, the size of the horse increased slightly. As you see here, the size from Eohippus is slightly bigger. So the size here is that of a modern sheep. Four feet with three fingers, hind feet with three toes, middle one longer than others. So that was the specification of the front and the hind toe, the hind feet. So Mesohippus was also known as the intermediate horse. Thereafter came the Merichippus. Now this Mesohippus was found during the Oligocene period. So you see, as we move down, we would see that these horses were found in the later periods. Now, Mary Chippers. So Mary Chippers was again slightly bigger than Mesohippus. So if you see here, this is Mary Chippers and it is of the size of a small pony. It has a long neck. So you see the size of the neck also increased with time. Four and hind feet with three fingers and three toes. Perfect. So Mary Chippers was known as the ruminating horse. And during which period was this horse found? So it was found in the Miocene period. Thereafter, it was Pliohippus, which was of the size of a modern pony. This is Pliohippus. Each fore and hind foot has one complete finger and one complete toe. So if you look at this, you see earlier it each feet had three fingers or three toes or some even for Eohippus there were four fingers also. But now all of them got reduced to one finger and one toe. So Pliohippus was the first one finger one toe horse. So this was the first horse with one complete finger and one complete toe. So Pliohippus was also called the Pliocene horse and needless to say why? because it was found during the Pliocene period. So Pliocene period is almost 10 million years ago from now. Then came Equus. So Equus is the modern horse which we see today. So it has a long head and neck. The size of the horse is also quite bigger when compared to the Pliohippus. Each foot and hind, each fore and hind foot has one finger and one toe. So that's why I said that Pliohippus was the first one toed one finger horse. Because Equus is also the present in the modern day horse is also one uh, finger one toed horse. Now Equus is also known as the Pleistocene, it is the modern horse and from when did when did this evolve? It was found in the Pleistocene period. I mean, it's found even today. So from Pleistocene period onwards, Equus was found. So if you look at all the 
series if you look at the series one by one from eo hippus to meso hippus to marich hippus plyo hippus and finally equus you see that with time horses have evolved in such a way that their sizes have increased their height have increased their fore feet and hind feet have modified in fact their teeth have also modified with time Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.